So I finally have some type of artifact of quartz crystal. It looks like I have a point sticking right there in the mud. Oh yeah, look at that. Right there, that looks worked. Looks like it's worked into a point actually right there. Smoke, are you ready? Are you ready, Smoke? Hmm? Are you ready? You ready to go dig? Hmm? He's ready. Welcome back to another adventure, miners, prospectors, and rock counters. I'm back at Renegade Ranch digging site where the Washita Native Americans once were here napping and they weren't taking a nap. They were making spearheads, arrowheads, scrapers, tools, basically everything they need to hunt and live their lives. They were here 10,000 years ago up until 1620s when they were driven out of this area by early settlers. I'm gonna be digging on the other side of the fence. It's at the beginning of spring, so before too long, this will be infected with chiggers and ticks, Lyme disease city, and I don't wanna be back here. So now's the time to dig, which what I call is the red zone. This over here is closer to the river is which the natives really, really liked. They didn't like to have to walk too far to get their water. So over here is really good. It's just during the summer, it's fully grown up. All this is just thick with weeds and just chiggers and ticks. So it's just not worth it. And you can see where people has been just tearing it up out here. All that's been dug all over here and you can find patches every now and then that'll still produce artifacts okay let's get to digging in a hole and see what we can get and i just want to thank all my supporters over on patreon and those of you youtubers that click that blue button on my profile page on youtube i can't thank you all enough that really allowed me to get out here and make these videos so once again thank you all here's what i'll be using today my half inch classifier saw horses thanks to my supporters over on patreon and youtube supporters i was able to purchase new saw horses because my last ones broke on me while i was out here I'm putting a lot of weight on this classifier so these are really nice they fold up i can't thank you all enough if it wasn't for y'all i wouldn't be able to get stuff like this because this is my job making youtube videos i don't really have a job anymore this is what I do, and I just want to thank you all for the support. All right, I'm on the other side of the fence best to be over here during the winter time this is a uh, tick and chigger city i got my classifier set up got the saws all in case we come across a root that's going to be in the way i'll just cut that these trees have been dug under for so many years they're not very they're not healthy at all this thing looks dead as a matter of fact if you was to scratch the bark you'll definitely see the core is still alive but don't look very good so i'm just going to continue on working in this spot and over there and see what i get that's the washita river well let's see if they left me something they didn't go past the roots, so that's good. And this spot may have been dug out already. I don't know. Let's go dig down and see what, I'm, see what I can get.
I've seen more stuff over here. But now they put all their dirt over here where I was working, so now I gotta start over. I was up at the Crystal Caves looking for Dow Point the other day. Got a video coming out from the Crystal Caves. It's always fun to go out there and dig for Dow Points. Alright, bring y'all in a little closer and check it out. All right, let's see what we got. All this dirt. I did. I don't want to dig and dig and dig till I find something for y'all. So I came over here. I was going to do some time lapse for a while and dig. And this appears to be a scraper. It may have broken half and this may be what they wanted. But you could definitely hold that with your right hand. And this edge right here. And that's a nice blade. That's definitely been worked. Sometimes that's all it took. It really don't fit in a left hand. Unless it's like that right there. And that's even better. Because it's flat here. which, And then the thumb. And now you got more of the area that's flaked to make a blade. So this must be a left handed scraper. And just the way this is flaked. And my thumb fits it a lot better. Versus my right thumb and it's like you can kind of see through it like it's translucent all right that's pretty cool i'm gonna keep going in this spot where i was working i worked my way over here to where these people were digging a hole maybe we'll get something else good out of here Loosening up the material to scoop up. Oh man. Look at that huge chunk of material that they were flaking off of. I thought it was a huge arrowhead at first. But it's just a chunk of rock. Little cigarette butt. That may have been somebody's uh, pile of flint. I'm not seeing much. Yeah, I moved locations. I've walked on down past the ladder. If there's the ladder, I'm over here, started a new hole. And the first couple of shovels, I noticed this piece of quartz that's been fully, fully worked on both sides. Like they were chipping on it. That is awesome. Let's take a look at it in the sun. There you go. Now you can see it. That's so cool. Getting closer to that quartz crystal arrowhead I may have found the spot right here by these three trees got a scoop from the hole and place it on the classifier and right away I noticed that chunk of quartz popped up this could be it this could be the spot A few more shovels and I noticed this one right here check that out oh man one shoulder is broken oh that's beautiful that's a nice arrowhead missing one shoulder right, I'm gonna keep on digging Woo, nice. Looks like we have a tip. 
almost like the one I found earlier, but missing the base. So I've been working the material through the classifier till every last piece of yeah. dirt was broken up and sure enough this popped out of one of them. Nice little point. Just missing the uh, shoulder right there but you can see it's clearly a point. Not the best one. Probably broke on them so they gave up on it. All that time and it snapped right there so they just I threw it down. See all these chunks of dirt? You gotta work all those down. It could be an arrowhead or some type of artifact inside it. Oh, here's a nice flake. It's just a flake. That real brittle stuff. So probably wasn't from the natives. Here's a flake that it breaks but at the corner where it's real thin i can't even break that thin piece flint working the material and right here a really good indicator of the quartz crystal being worked to a point or a scraper i mean look at that that's been chipped away and this right here is really hard to work with they probably had diamonds from the crater of diamonds to chip with there were probably 50 carats and 60 carats because those things wouldn't break at all and that would definitely work for these crazy so I finally have some type of artifact of quartz crystal. Look at that facet. Man, not really a facet, it's just uh, nice and smooth. I don't know, I can see the lines. Right there are the lines of the crystal. Holy cow, that is the facet of the crystal. Cool. I can see the lines. Unreal. Once again, I'm working the material to the very end of all the clumps, and this tip popped up. One little bump on the very tip of it. That would have been a good one. Okay, so I just made a scoop or two, you know, a couple scoops. I worked it. I got another scoop and bringing it to the classifier, I noticed an arrowhead sticking out. Let's check it out. And right there, folks, we have an arrowhead sticking out. Uh, the tip's broken, but you know what? Definitely going to be some type of point. Let's take a look at it. Oh, man. That would have been a good one. The shoulder's a little bumped on it. Too bad the tip's broken. Maybe I'll find the tip. I'll just keep searching around, might find it. That's awesome. Wow, that's awesome. I know I'm in a good area though, that's for sure. I've never found this many artifacts in one spot out here. I've been coming out here for about six, seven years now. All right. 
maybe more in this shovel alone. I used the uh, Sawzall, or reciprocating saw. Got the root that was right here out of my way. And I found some good stuff underneath these roots. So let's see if it'll pay out. With the crystal arrowhead. Ooh, nice piece of flint. Nice flake. So we're getting some really good flakes. Look how thin. I can see right through that almost. Really pretty flint out here. All types of colors. Where did you come from? Who are you? Who are you? Okay. Alright, baby girl, I know you want to go, but you ain't gonna. Ooh, what's this? Alright, here's something here. Uh, it's busted up. There's a shoulder. It's like it's missing the other shoulder, but there's the point. A little chipped up. Almost would have had a type of a Clovis base. It would have came down as a point. But... Yeah, we're still kind of getting something. Like I've been digging for quite a while. Here's the hole. Got several artifacts out of that. Here's my tailing pile. But it's time to pack it up and get out of here. Looks like we have a tip. Yep. Fully worked. Man, that'd have been a good one. And right here we have a base. Definitely worked on both sides. Cool. That would have been a good one. Broken half. Keep in mind, anytime you're trying to find an arrowhead, when you're seeing small chips and flakes of flint and other rock, that'll give you a good 
idea that they may have been over here. And right here is a piece of quartz crystal because the natives were using the quartz crystal here in Arkansas at this location, making ceremonial crystal arrowheads. And right there is proof. So if we could find one of these arrowheads out of crystals, we are definitely in the money. And right beside this spot, we might have something right here. It's worked a little bit. Let's pull it and see what we got. Definitely an arrowhead. Oh yeah, nice one too. All right. We have found several so far on this trip and I am very pleased. No sign of Mina drying up yet. Every time I come out here, I find something pretty good. And this one's fluted at the very tip. Check that out. Wow, that's a nice one. All right, time to keep on digging. And here might be my next artifact. I'm not sure, it's barely sticking out of the ground, but it looks like it's worked on both sides. All right, let's take a look at it. Turned out it's just a flake. And here's another one. Looks like a base. It's laying there on the surface. Yep. Definitely worked on both sides. We have company. So I'm heading my way back to the truck. Got thunder rolling in. The storms are finally getting closer. I don't know what this is, but let's take a look at it. Yeah, it's a tip. Just not a very good one. They definitely were messing with that to make it look like that. Right here, we might have something and possibly right there. I just seen that, but I don't know yet. But right here, I spotted that laying on the ground. Take a look at it. Oh, it's a nice piece that's worked on both sides, but yeah, nothing really. If anything, it's a base, and that was the tip up here. Laying right by these rocks, it looks like I have a point sticking right there in the mud. Oh yeah, look at that, nice. Just sitting there. Oh, sweet. Yes, it's got a tip on it. One of the shoulders is broken, but man, that's gonna look sick. I think that's gonna be translucent, but the sun's not out. Check out that one. Looks like it's quartz, but hard to tell. Definitely gonna be translucent. We'll check that out in the sun. Wow, that thing was just laying there. Unreal. Getting closer and closer to my spot. I keep finding things to pick up like that base. Let's see what we got. Is it a complete arrowhead? No. Just a base. One shoulder. Bummer. Whew, I'm having a blast today. This is probably one of my best days out here at Mina. Every time I come here, I do pretty good and find some type of artifact, if not an arrowhead. And check this one out. Laying on the surface. Somewhat a pool. We get to see what it will reveal. Let's cross our fingers right there. Let's cross our fingers that it's a full. It's still going. Woo! Nice. 
Come on, let's have a tip on it. Oh my gosh, guys, I think it's a full one. Oh, the tip's broken. And that shoulder's chipped off on the right. But it almost looks like that one I already found. That's crazy. Oh man, so we got a bump there and the tip's broke. But that's pretty cool. This spot right here isn't bad at all. I may have to come over here and dig once it dries out. Because right now that won't go through my classifier at all. It's way too wet. Best to come out here in July, you know, during the a dry time and uh, that material will go right through your classifier. Well, hopefully I can get up to my spot. It's supposed to rain here in about two hours it's showing. It's pretty cold out today. And right here, not far from the arrowhead that was just laying on the ground, I see something right here, not far from the arrowhead that was just laying there. I don't know, it's got some work to it. Let's see what it is. Oh, darn. Worked on both sides, but, oh yeah, I mean, that's a point. Definitely a point, it's just the uh, base is probably, uh, you know, it's like didn't get finished or probably broke on them down there and they just gave up on it. Dang, that would have been a good one. And right here we have a tip. Right there's a tip. I picked it up already. Definitely worked on both sides. To a nice point and it's broken in half but sooner or later we will get a complete arrowhead just know it or the river sure is up from last time it's good walking around on this side working my way up to my spot and right here Looks like I may have a point or a broken point or something. Looks like we can see a base right there. I mean, it looks like it. it may not be anything, but. Oh, yep, it's a broken arrowhead. Man. I'm seeing a lot of chips over here. I'm gonna stay in this spot for sure. I'm gonna head back to the truck, take a break. And right here I noticed something. Right there I noticed something. It looks like it could be a base. Nope, nothing. Not far from the last one. Something right there. Hard to tell exactly if it's gonna be anything. Nice and thin. Man, it's just a flake. Man, too bad. I'm in the same furrow. And right here, we might have something finally. Been walking around for about an hour. And right there, that looks worked. Looks like it's worked into a point, actually, right there. There's the shoulder, the base. All right, let's pull it and let's hope it's complete. It is, it's got a shoulder. All right, we got a small, funky looking arrowhead, but that makes number one. Like it might be bumped on that side. The shoulder's bumped, chipped off. All right, that's pretty cool right there. wind starting to pick up it could be some wind noise and right here might have something yep 
Yeah, it's a tip. Not a good one. It's just broken tip. Lots of flint in the area where I'm at. So anytime you're seeing all these little flakes, no matter where you're at in the United States, you could find an arrowhead or some type of an artifact because it means they were in the area working the flint, making uh, tools. Lots of stuff over here. Not sure what it is. Got some quartz look to it, but I think it's flint. It doesn't look like a quartz. Oh, it's just a chip. Dang. Nothing. It's nothing, smoke. Freak me out like that. Don't you ever come up behind me like that again. Scared me. And right here we have some more quartz. This one actually almost has some crystals attached to it. So the natives were definitely using quartz crystals. Oh no, you know what? This is a rock that has formed crystals. That's not really silica. Or maybe it is. Decided to give it one more walk through before I head back where I'm gonna start my hole. Got smoke here guarding my find. And I was thinking earlier, how cool would it be to find a huge arrowhead? Well, I didn't get the complete arrowhead, but check out the size of that tip. Whoa. definitely been worked to look like that that would have been humongous so I moved this big rock just checking it out to see what it looked like and right here beside it looks like a tip oh yeah very well worked on both sides The mud off very nice too bad it not complete that have been a good point here's something we don't see very often a huge chunk of flint you can see that it's been used quite a bit Eh, about in the middle of the field and right there possibly something just kind of looked to be worked stuck in that ch chunk of mud let's see what it let's see what it is oh definitely worked on both sides yeah that might be the the base wow that's a really unusual base how small that base is man that thing is small huh you never know what they're gonna look like we may find something out here that's never been seen before Here's something. Yep. Broken point. I got two. I got a something to check out right there where those rocks are stacked and right here where these rocks are stacked let's take a look and see what they are 
You can see how that one right there, you can see how this one's been worked. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, it's just a chip. Nothing much. Okay, let's take a look at this one right here. This is one I found first. Oh, I almost stepped on it. Uh, yeah, there's my footprint. But right there, looks like we got a base. So I was walking over here, see if I can find it. More evidence that the natives were working the quartz crystal and making ceremonial arrowheads. Yeah, you can see right there a facet, definitely quartz, more like silica. Proof that they're bringing pieces of the vein back over here and working it. There could be a vein right in those hills, not far. Because Arkansas is loaded with quartz crystals. I'm getting closer to the center of the field, headed to my favorite spot to surface hunt. And right here, we might have something right there. Let's take a look at it. Definitely worked on both sides. Looks like it's some type of a corner tang knife. But it's just chipped up pretty good. Definitely some type of artifact. They were definitely working on it. I haven't been looking very long. Six minutes or so. All right, let's pull this out and see what we got. Come on, be something. Ooh, definitely been worked. Yeah, it's worked on both sides. Maybe a knife or a, a scraper. Man, that's almost fluted right there. Look at that big flute. My thumb is. Looks like the tip has been chipped off and they may have resharpened it. But that's definitely an artifact from the Washita tribe. All right, let's keep on going. Towards the edge of the field. And right here, looks like we have something laying on the surface. Yep. It's a base, nice base. Well, maybe I'll find the tip, but yeah, that's definitely, it's got a shoulder chipped on it. Good indicator. Nicely worked. I don't see the tip. And here's everything laid out, cleaned. I scrubbed and scrubbed on this stuff. And being so old, the dirt will sometimes just stay in the uh, grooves and the cavities. It's just stained. That almost will also tell you if the uh, artifact is authentic or not. Some of that modern day stuff is so shiny it's just a dead giveaway that it's not a real artifact. There's always going to be some type of discolored and dirt staining on most artifacts. But here are the better points. Right here. And this one right here turned out to be a quartz. That is definitely quartz. This one come out of the hole. 
one or two shovels that one came out for some reason i don't think i got it on video really nice tips i like this one right here a lot real thin would have been a beautiful arrowhead here is the corner tang knife definitely a knife looks like it broke off right up there where they would have tied it on to the stick i just love this one That one's fluted. That one turned out to be really good. Barely sticking out of the ground. Is the other smaller point. Really cool. Piece of quartz. I think it's part of the vein, the silica. I thought it was deer antler at first. After I cleaned it up, it just seems to be like quartz more than a deer antler. And these are just broken pieces of the arrowheads. Like here's a middle section, no tip or base, but you can clearly see that it's been worked. Like this one here, it's like this is just one of the stages they get it worked down to before they start actually shaping it into a point. And there they are. Not bad for just a couple of days of digging. Hey, that's it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun today. I found several pieces of arrowheads to complete arrowheads on this trip. I just can't thank you all enough for the support. It helps me get out here. If it wasn't for my YouTube supporters and the supporters over on Patreon, I wouldn't be able to come out here and make these videos, so I want to thank you all again. All right, hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you on the next video. Got a few chips off the field today, looking for artifacts. Did pretty good. Something, this is everything that I won't have to look at again. That's why I like to pick all this up and now go take it home or throw it in the trash. <laughs>